We begin tonight with breaking news. At least one person is dead, another seriously hurt after a vintage plane crashed into a nursery in the North County. It happened this afternoon, less than a mile from the Fallbrook Air Park. Fox 5's Alani Latang is live in Fallbrook with the latest developments tonight. Alani. Jason Misha, the plane crashed here at Altman Plant Nursery. It's behind the Fallbrook uh, Air Park, a small executive airport. And we're told that um, we can't get any closer to the crash site, but we know that that plane is still there and, and it will remain there overnight. We also spoke with a, a pilot who's been a pilot for 30 years, and he came out here when he heard the news. Just to know that uh, another aviator had... Uh crash is just it hits the, uh, the flying community. Michael Aaron Gruber has been a pilot for 30 years flying out of Fallbrook Air Park for 15 years. Hearing of this crash he says is the unfortunate risk of flying. You know anything can happen it's just one of those things it's sad but uh, we as pilots accept it. At 1 33 p.m. Saturday North County Fire reported a plane crashed at Altman Plant Nursery in Fallbrook. It's behind the Fallbrook Air Park. Officials say two adults were inside the passenger got trapped in the plane, but later died on scene after being removed. Crews found the pilot ejected out and on the ground. He is currently in the hospital in critical condition. It's unclear where the plane was headed. We have no witnesses to whether they were taking off or landing, but the airport the pattern would believe they are probably trying to take off. Officials say Fallbrook Air Park doesn't have an air tower, and officials didn't receive any alert statuses. According to FAA registry, the plane is a 1953 T-28 owned by Mach 1 Air Charters in Chino. It's a post-World War II styled training airplane used for decades to train for the Navy and Marine Corps. Well, this airplane then was also a bit more sophisticated in a, uh, than the first airplane a young aviator would have flown. Uh, yes, but you're going to fly formation and ultimately you're going to land this airplane on an aircraft carrier. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, it's a very, very capable airplane. There are limited details for now, but still impacting the community. As, as the fire department, we, it, it hits us hard, you know, to have to see people in their most tragic moments. And so our hearts and thoughts and prayers go out to the family members affected by this. The, the pilot, um, you know, survived. I'm just praying for him and his family. And we reached out to the owners of the plane. They said they don't have a comment at this time. We know that federal investigators will be back out here tomorrow determining what all happened, how the plane went down, and we hope to learn more by then. Reporting live in Fallbrook, I'm Melanie Latang, Fox 5 News.